What's going on guys? I'm back here with a quick unboxing and uh, also we can test this little guy out. Uh, if you're not familiar with this handheld here, uh, this was, this came out like months ago. But uh, every time I looked for it, I couldn't find it. It was sold out. It's sold in two places, Five and Below. That's where it first got known from, Five and Below. And uh, every time I would go, they would like bring them out in a box, you know? And they had them all like just stacked in this box. And as soon as they brought it out, they were just all gone. Every time, you know, just like every time someone was just waiting there in a the line. And when I would come, uh, even before they would put them out, I guess they put them out earlier. They were just gone. They're always gone. So these things sell for 10 bucks and five and below. And they sell for $10 inside Walmart. And even when I went to Walmart, they were sold out as well. And I'm guessing because uh, there was a lot of videos made on this handheld uh, saying that um, you can buy this handheld. It's like buying an NES from Walmart or Five and Below. And it was a little crazy because uh, there are actually some of these are licensed games. So, I mean... It's not a big deal to me, but it was a big deal to other people, I guess, because Five and Below was selling stuff like that, and so was Walmart. So that's the reason why everyone bought it, and uh, that's probably why I couldn't get my hands on it. So we'll take a look at this box here. We'll go ahead and see if I can put a little more light on the scene. Check out this box real quick. So it's supposed to be 200 games. Uh, just a simple handheld, which looks pretty good to be getting out of Walmart, yeah. So it's a 3-inch, and we got uh, AV cables. So this does connect to your TV, although that is just not cool. It's not cool. Wait a minute, guys. Give me one moment here. Sorry about that, guys, but it seemed like my gardener... Uh, the, well, not my gardeners, but the gardeners for these here apartments seems like they're tr doing some tree trimming while it's not so hot today's a rainy looking day out there it's really windy a lot so i can't really go out over here you don't really go out much when it's windy because there's something called valley fever so um if you're outside you you, you smell in that fungus or whatever it is uh, it grows in your lungs and you're like forever sick you know so over here we don't go out when it's real windy but Anyways, let's get back to this. So we were on 200 games. Uh, the handheld itself looks pretty good for, like I said, just to be getting out of Walmart. That's pretty cool. And here's all of its specs here. So it's a rechargeable battery. That's good. So you don't need batteries. And that's pretty much it. So let's get this opened up my dull knife here all right let's go ahead and pop this open here looks like someone already opened it if you ask me look at this uh it was taped up though this is from walmart i got this from walmart five for the uh, five and below still do not have these it's just too many people buying them and like I said, because they were on, uh, they were on quite a few uh, gaming channels, and uh, people watched those, and they ran down there and bought them. So this AV cable here is, it's okay, it's okay, it doesn't feel too bad, you know. But uh, it's mono, so that sucks. Um, then we get this little bag here, and we'll pull the handheld out there. And this already actually looks pretty good, guys. This this uh this actually looks pretty good. So here's our uh, little manual, which is pretty cool. But I don't know why you would need this. So this is just for looks, I guess. I mean, unless you really need to read that. Uh, we got a micro USB cable here, which feels okay. It actually feels okay. You can see it's hard to push. It's not all thin. So I'll go ahead and just leave that there. I'll be using my own. Here is the handheld now itself. So it feels kind of 
feels kind of hollow, guys. Feels a little hollow. Uh, reset button is right here. You got your X, Y, A, and B. Your sound here, your start and select there. And we got our on and off on the top here, micro USB. So this is our on and off, micro USB charging, and our TV out. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open, put in our 3.7 battery that they gave us. All right, let's see which way does this go. Okay. All right, so uh, let me turn it off. Feels pretty good. It's got a little screen protector on there. So you will have to take that off, and I'm going to. Come on. Don't give me a difficult time. All right. All right, so that's off. Put a little bit of a adhesive here, but I got this, so go ahead and clean that off real quick. Yeah, cool. All right, there, that's good. All right, so we already know all the buttons. This is our volume here. Didn't show you that it's at. So we got a volume knob, and that's it. So let's turn it on. And it, it already looks just like the handhelds that I have. The ones I have from China. Although this one doesn't feel too sturdy, but I mean, it does. See, these are real games. They're not, uh, they're not like those cheap, weird games they give you, but I see some screen tearing going on there. See, these are all real games. That's pretty awesome, considering if you want something like this, you have to all the time go through China, you know? But it it's actually pretty good. It feels pretty good. It works good. I don't see anything too wrong with it. Seems like the cat likes it. So it's cat approved. So let's go ahead and press reset. So every time you gotta start all over again. But uh, we got some pretty cool games here. Final mission. Let's see what that is. I think I've seen this game before. I think it was under another name. See that? Look at that screen. It actually looks pretty cool. I'm dead. But, man, that's just this game alone makes this worthy. I mean, considering it's only 10 bucks. Just with that game that I just turned off, it's worth it. And then you got our old school games here. Like, they're not even trying to lie. They're just putting the original name on here. So that's pretty cool. I, I don't mind this. I'm not going to go and try uh, saying anything about the ROMs being here illegally. I mean, I don't care. But it plays pretty good. Where's our turbo button? Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Trying to play through here and not so good. But you guys can see, it looks pretty good. Pretty good. For some Walmart stuff, this is actually really good. So, we got Pinball, Popeye. So, just, just with these games here, I mean, it's got a lot of DC games on here. Twin B, too? Look at 
Yeah, just Twin B itself is a good game. I love that game. That game's awesome. I play it all the time on my NES. I have an NES projector too, guys. So it's a projector. So it's pretty cool. It's uh the actual controls plug into the NES projector and then it projects to the wall like at a good decent size. Like maybe you could go up to like 30, 40, like a 20 inch TV, 30 inch TV, maybe even 50. You stretch it out a little. Pretty cool. And uh, I play this game all the time on it. Sound is pretty good too. Let's see, how does it sound? That's all the way off. So that's pretty much maxed out. That is maxed out. Come on in, focus. Just trying to show you guys. It does look pretty good. It does. I'm a little impressed with this. So let's we'll just go through the games here so you guys can see what games are on here. I'm not sure if there's repeats on here, but maybe not. But there's always a few, so I'm not entirely, come on, I'm not entirely sure. No, why do you keep doing that? So that was it, I went through the list already, so let's go back here. Go through one more time, but the opposite way. See another game there. I see a game right now. Come on. Yeah, so this thing's got some pretty good games. Sullivan's Kiwi on there. I don't play that, but I heard others. Got some decent games on this thing. I could have sworn I seen Spy Hunter. I know I do. But I think I keep passing it or something. Kind of hard to look for the game that you want through this viewfinder here. Let's just go to this game. I don't know what this is, but let's just go to that. Let's just see. So some of these games may be homemade mixed with some actual real games i'm not sure if this game is legit oh i keep dying because i keep jumping on top of that oh so it kind of seems like a adventure world or whatever that game is called where you just jump nes game so I think there are some homemade games in here, but uh, just with the minimum amount of, of games that it did have, uh, it's pretty cool. Just with like four or five of those NES games, you're pretty good just with those games. Like I, the Twin B, you know, I've seen some others. I know Spy Hunter was in there. I saw it. Um, so just with those games alone, you should be pretty good. Just with the with a decent amount of those games, you can see what kind of game that is. But the Turtles, you should be cool with that. And Final Mission. Then we got a few more of the Excite, Excite Bike there. Ninja. So that's probably Ninja Gaiden, I'm thinking. Then there's Pinball, which is pretty famous, NES. So it's not Ninja Gaiden. No, I'm not gonna even try it. So. Here's the pinball here. Let's see if it's the... Yeah, see, this is the pinball. This is uh, pretty cool. I like that. I like pinball. 
Space Invaders over here. So you see, just with some of these games, you're 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 set already. Like you can't go bad with Space Invaders. I mean, it's a little slow, but it's uh, this is not bad for the for the bathroom. You know, this is uh, something you may want to use on the crapper. So it's pretty good, Boeing. We got a lot of good games here. A lot of good games. Just with, like I said, just with a few of those games, you're already doing pretty good. You should, it already paid for itself because it's only 10 bucks rechargeable battery. So just with those games there, you're, you're actually going to be pretty good. And it's not too bad of a little handheld. Not too bad. I think I may have been wrong. I don't see any spy in there, but... Oh, there it is. Number 44? Played this game a lot as a kid. Uh, my friend had an NES. And I would spend the night there and uh, play this game with him. After we burned out the Castlevania game already in the other games. Alright. I'm all waiting for nothing. Yeah, I suck at it, but... Yeah, but it's there. But it's there, though. So, not bad. Not a bad little handheld here. It does have some repeats. See Space Invaders again right here? So you got your repeats, and I think they threw in a couple of those uh, homemade games there. You know, those homebrew. But they did put in quite a few real games in here, which I think they're just with a few of them being in there, you should be pretty good to go, you know? Because they're real NES games, so you'll have you'll have a good time with them. Just with those few, you should be all right, you know? Oh, no, not that. Fantasy. Oh, wow. See, here's another great game. Awesome game. Just this game alone makes this worth it. This handheld worth it. Just this game right here, all by itself. You can't go bad with Fantasy Zone. I mean, I have those for the for my 3DS, and oh, I love them. They're 3D, and they're just so much fun. So that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. You guys could get this at Walmart for ten bucks. Um, Ten bucks. Sometimes they're on sale every now and then. They may be like eight ninety, eight ninety nine. You might save a dollar or two, but they're ten bucks. If you can't go there, go to a Five and Below. Five and Below has them for ten dollars as well. They're okay. The D pad is actually not that bad. It's not bottoming out too bad, you know. It's okay. It's kind of got a pivot there a little bit, and uh, these buttons are not too bad. And when the the handheld has the battery doesn't feel too hollow we got a decent screen on here that looks good enough and rechargeable battery and everything else works pretty good not too bad so you may want to skip out on the whole tv function part i mean look at how little this is you know unless you got like something to extend it longer you could but i just think it's so much better just playing it like this so that's pretty much the end of this one, guys. If you guys want this, like I said, this is at Walmart and uh, the Five and Below. And uh, I will be back with some more content. So thanks a lot for watching.